we followed a mystery from the start. First, scientists saw strange signs in Alaska. Then they tracked them south, connecting volcanoes across Canada, Washington, and Oregon. They discovered a hidden magma artery, a giant underground river of fire stretching thousands of miles. We've learned how it was found, why it matters, and what it could mean for millions of people. Now we've reached the last question. What do we do with this knowledge? The truth is, the Earth has always spoken to us, but often, we don't listen. Before Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, scientists saw warning signs. Small quakes, gas clouds, the ground swelling, some listened, some didn't. In the end, 57 people lost their lives. Since then, researchers have begged us to take these warnings seriously. The hidden magma artery is a warning too. Not one volcano, not one state, a whole chain connected by heat and rock, moving in ways we don't fully understand. If it awakens, the effects could stretch far beyond the Pacific Northwest. Planes could be grounded. Crops could fail. Ash could cover whole cities. The choices we make now decide if those risks turn into tragedy or into survival. So, what choices do we have? The first choice is ignorance. Pretend it's not real. Go on with daily life. That's the easiest choice, but also the most dangerous. History shows us that ignoring the Earth doesn't work. From Pompeii to Krakatoa, from St. Helens to Iceland, those who look away pay the highest price. The second choice is fear. Some people might panic, thinking the artery means doom is close, but fear doesn't save lives, it only freezes us. Fear without action is no better than ignoring the warning. The third choice is action. 